Officer, I'm his lawyer. I am his lawyer. I have come to speak to you. No. Sorry, but um, through his rights, he is allowed to have an attorney present. Yep, sure. In my front pocket, you'll find out that I uh, got my uh, law degree in Alice. He's dead. Fuck the police, you're all fucking pigs. I hope you all die. Uh, yeah, um, I was like six miles away from Yo, the I crime scene, um, in my house, looking at my, you know, cooking stuff in my kitchen. I hear gunshots. I come out and find that you've arrested my client. Well, I wasn't exactly six miles. Um, let's just say I were like four, you know, four houses down the road. Well, no. Oh, what? Yeah, it is right. I know. Now you're just fabricating the evidence. I just, you know, you do. You're just fabricating the words that just come out of my mouth. So, you know. This is genuinely depressing. And now you just told me you was four houses down the road. Well, yeah. Six miles or four houses. It's it's four houses, okay. Four houses is six miles to me. Just because I'm a little, little bit retarded and I don't know the distances, there's no need to take the pace, you know. Well, you know, I, I just I'm not good with distances in maths, okay. Yeah, that's that's fine. I'll just uh, I'll just wait here. Can I ask you which uh, officer gave you authority to be on the premises? Um, no one. As uh, like I said, um, because he's been restrained, I am legally abided to uh, yeah, you know be here as his attorney. Good, good. Find out what his charges yeah, are. Is Jason about? Okay, so, um, I don't know. If I think I'll be back in like a minute. Sound muted. You, uh, wait at the front gate, okay? You go maybe catch no, 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 I don't want to do it. You guys might try and do something to me. You guys might try and like threaten me. And I don't appreciate you interrupting me. Sir, okay, that is in fact very rude. Right. Aye, this is my lawyer. I don't think you're you guy. I'm telling him to wait outside. I'm interested. I, I demand him here. I'm not going to answer any more questions unless my lawyer. It's my uh, social outfit. Oh, yeah. Anyway, as I was saying, yes. So, what's his charges? Um, well, for certain, I requested him under public order act, okay, swearing an officer. I did give him a warning, I asked him, first of all, I asked him to stop. I actually have two guys, I can't really have to take it. Mancers, be quiet, and then he just uh, persisted to swear at me and insult me. Okay, so under the public order out to 1986, fair enough. Um, okay, and what proof do you have of that, exactly? Um, I was watching the scene of Holter. So you were watching the scene and you saw this gentleman doing what, exactly? Monsters, be quiet, be quiet, just, just swear. Seat, and then obviously the other missing. So 
I took up a position to see if anyone was lurking around wanting to kill me. This gentleman then decided to pull up next to me in these rebel off road. Um, and get out, at which point he did have an illegal firearm drawn. And then, uh, proceeded to start shouting at me. So at which point I arrested him for being okay. under the crime. So he may have... He may have friend you. Yeah. 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 They're harassing me, officer. Free the person. Yeah, yeah, just just move him, move him inside the office building. You know, we'll take it somewhere safe. Stay out. <laughs> Officer, uh, um, are we able to take the cuffs off him? Um, I mean, I know the moment he's been detained for, you know, threatening a police officer, but um, you've, you've not really got any evidence yeah, to, you know... At the moment, you're very lucky that I haven't uh, got cuffs on you, okay? Oh, he's I'm sorry, excuse me. I drove over to you, got out of the car, and I had my hunting rifle on me. And I never realised that uh, I had that on me. So I put it instantly in my backpack. And then walked over to you thinking you were a medic, you know, to go and help. Because there was, like, a couple of dead guys, including a cop. Basically, you then told me to walk closer to you. So I just stood still, not sure what was going on. You aimed that taser at me, and then you tased and restrained me. Like, no apparent reason I could find to figure out at that point. I then got annoyed because I had like 20,000 volts going through my body and then I started swearing in pain. Okay, so in my um, you know, professional opinion, the only thing you can really do it for is the Public Order Act 1986, which should just swear in an officer. Hang on, if you could wait one moment for some sirens to go off. No, 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 Okay, so as, as I was saying, uh, the only charges you can really Apply to him is the public order act to 1986. I mean, you've got no real proof that he's done anything wrong. Okay. Look, if you can't yard, I'm going to have a little full degree. Yeah. I do. You've already checked it, remember? Yeah, you, you've already checked this. What? Well, Anna, you old. Okay, then I. I already unseated the team. Oh, it's character. Can you just leave it a minute? You're de-thinking a little. Can you hold a degree? Wait, one sec. Receiving comms. One sec. Receiving comms. Okay. Yep. Okay, think that you have a lot of great. Yes. Well, listen, out of character, we really can't hear a word you're saying. Uh, and the, the uh, quite a lot. Uh, office of an investigation. Fuck you, Papa. Correct. Fuck you, down there. Fuck I'm you, sorry, can you repeat that? Because, uh, you know, out of character, you were lagging. Hello, anybody there? Is that any better? Yeah, uh, yeah, as much. So, what did you say? Can you repeat the last sentence? Okay. As I was saying, I assume because you have a law degree, you understand the purpose of an investigation. Of course. Okay. Then, uh, please uh, tell me what right you have to tell me why, what I can charge him with, and what can't I charge him with. Well, easy. You've got no and, uh, evidence towards him. What questions I can't ask him. I'm not saying, I didn't say you couldn't ask me any questions. Have I obliged against any questions that you've asked so far? 
Have I saved your cat asking that? Also say, okay. uh, no, you haven't, but... Exactly. Well, there you go then. Um, why you didn't? Why didn't make yourself uh, known at the time of the scene? Uh, well, you see, at the time of the scene, I was in the house. Um, he, he he contacted me. Well, his friend contacted me saying that he'd been arrested by the police. So I gave him down to the station. I'm pretty sure you so he was in your house. He was, he, was in, he was in your house, yeah. And then I arrested him, and, you, and uh, he contacted you, yeah. No, no, no. His friend contacted me. That's why I'm down at the station. Yeah. Okay. So you was in your house doing what you was doing. His friend contacted you, and then you came here, yeah. Yeah. Okay, sir. Well, being that you've now told me two different stories. No, no, I've uh, told you one. You, you, you've just taken the information and completely twisted it. With the accessory to a police murder. I'm sorry, out of character, he's had one story the whole time. He can't charge me for anything. One to glitch, whatever, I was there. There was about another seven uh, civilians around that uh, dead body. You can't go and charge out, out of character, I'm not gonna lie, but it's technically what you've done is metagamed. Because the, just because he's in the truck, you've gone ahead and thought, you know, you've got no real proof that he actually was there or attempted to kill the officer. Please explain to me how that is in fact metagaming if I watch someone from a Because you've been given some information. Receiving a report. Yeah, but you didn't see him do anything wrong. That's the point. Sorry. The point was, his vehicle matched the exact description and the exact location of where a police murder had just... Okay, so I'm going to be charging you also. Okay, for being rude. Okay, providing the call of justice, no, okay, stopped. this is several times you interrupt me, I did warn you outside, okay? And I never meant to, I stopped myself, now for I stopped final talking time. and I let you Stop talk. being rude, stop interrupting me. Okay, sir, well... Insufficient evidence means that we're not going to be charging you with the stick being an accessory to a police murder. Okay, but I'm going to be charging you under the Public Order Act for swearing at a police officer for being cautioned. I'm also going to be charging you under the Public Order Act of diverting, not under the Public Order Act, um, the providing course of justice. I'm also going to charge you with perverting the course of justice for continuously interrupting me. It's actually, you were just giving your point in the story, and I really thought uh, your point in the story wasn't true, so I was interrupting you at parts because I was getting so frustrated that you're kind of lying. Yeah. That's the reason I was interrupting. And the justice has obviously been made. I haven't interrupted you that much for the justice not to obviously come up here. Like, I, was, I was the right one here. So can I ask how much the uh, ticket is going to be? Um, right. I have your. Uh, can I have your donate? No, you asked me when you my name way earlier. Okay, so since my uh, office is really a bit difficult to communicate uh, I'm going to need to just take your name again so I can process it. Uh, I need to uh, I've actually already given the officer over here my name like several times. So yeah, yeah, but he's having some issues with it, as, you, as you're well aware of. Okay, fine then, uh, my name's Matt, okay. it's still Xavier. Yeah, yeah. Wonderful. Take my notes, so I wrote down his name earlier. Yeah, yeah. Where did you, on the desk, yeah? Let me just have a little look. 
follow here. I hear you. Yeah, yeah, wait a second. Just walk around. I will take my. Tell Mr. J. Just give me the ticket. No. Alright, I'm just gonna have a little look on the database. Make sure you're not wanted for any crimes <laughs> or any warrants for your arrest. Okay, wait a second. Yes, do that. Very big time. Medic, hello? Medic. Hello, medic. I'm having a bit of a problem with my tongue. It keeps making me uh, stutter and I can't I can't speak very well. Did, did you get the heel? You just cut it off. Fire. Alright, oh, awesome. right, maybe, well, like, maybe you might have sorted me yeah, then. It actually says yeah, on my database that you me. actually wanted for one count of robbery. Problem, bro. I'm here to help. Robbery. Rally up! <coughs> I'm sorry. Uh, <coughs> you aware of that? I'm sorry. <laughs> At character. Um, you captured the one at list after you processed him. You need to do it at the beginning. It's the wrong way around to do the role player. Right, okay, I'm just gonna start from the beginning. You can't actually ask me my name after you process me and went through all those crimes. You don't do it at the end. If you're uh, going to do it at I'm the end, I'm getting, getting, getting a little bit tired of this whole dropping out of character okay. stuff. It's getting a bit Well, tired you know, you're making mistakes, so I kind of have to. Well, these things happen. My office and it isn't just me doing it, so you have to stop getting on to me for doing it. My lawyer over here is doing it too, so. so you know, just for my own record, I wanted to take your name again. There's absolutely no. Yeah, it's very big time. Anywhere that says I can't do that. No, no, no. You asked my name, and another officer took it on record, and he never said anything, so that's your guy's problem, not mine. The thing with the Cavalli unit is we like to double check things. And, uh. Oh, wow, I've never seen that before. Well, well so it just so yeah, happened no. that I actually it just so happened that I misread it. And you know oh, since I was having a bit of a problem communicating what with you, man. this officer. I, I thought said it was, he was probably like starting I'm again. sorry, are, are you are you dyslexic? Um have you got uh you know? I'll come off in a minute. The problem with my tongue, sir, means a problem communicating. You know? you, you use your tongue to communicate. You seem perfectly fine now. Okay, yep, so I was communicating with you, well, and so you figured out my name when I sort me out. talked to you. Yeah, that was just your tongue. I thought it was something wrong with your speech, not mine. I thought that he had a problem reading. It, 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 did you not just mention that he said he had a problem reading it, and not saying it? Yeah, anyway, yeah but regardless. you never told that to the medic. We repro- we, you know, I took over. I've double-checked his oh, details. Gosh. He's currently on the wanted list for robbery. Oh, gosh. Uh, PC Freelance, if you just want to continue with this now. Oh, hi. Brilliant. Alright, so, um, considering this PC just reprocessed you, and found you was wanted for one count of robbery. Okay, yeah. I'm also going to be trying to do one count of robbery, for that in the course of justice, and trying to police officer under the public order act, okay? It's not going to be doing that, so I'm going to be sending you to prison, okay? Okay, Since your okay. ticket price exceeds a certain amount, do you understand? I comply. That's massive game, you fucking shit cop. You have ruined the Black Cat server completely. Okay, sir, if you could please leave the premises. Yep, be my pleasure. Um. Stop.